Morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dorcas Richard Liatu. I'm going to talk about chemistry, about the applications of salt. Okay, salt is an ionic compound which is made up of positively charged ions and negatively charged ions. We have different kinds of salt, and some are powdered and others are crystals. Here, we have five types of salt. We are going to start with the sodium chloride. Sodium chloride, this is a table salt. It is in form of crystals, white, white crystal, in form of this. The sodium chloride, it is the table salt which is used in our homes. It is applicable in foods. It is used in food preservation, in adding flavor in the food. Also, the sodium chloride can be used in making of, sol of soaps. And uh, it can be used in industries. The other salt is copper sulfate. Copper sulfate, this is powdered and it is blue in color. The copper sulfate is applicable in industries and environmental use. Example in plantations, it can be kept in the farms, example, the coffee plantations as fertilizers and also to kill bacteria and fungus. I welcome the second speaker. Okay, but my name is Catherine Peter Mushi. I'm going to continue explaining the other sorts. This is cupric nitrate, also is known as copper nitrate, and it's also in blue color. It is very poisonous since they need they need several equipment so that they can neutralize it. Its application in our daily life, it is used in making medicines, and it is used as a fertilizer, and also it is used to make soft papers, which they are very clear in very different aspects. Also, there is also calcium carbonate here, and it is white powdered. As we know, all carbonates are powdered. It is very useful in our daily life since it is used it is used to soften hard water. Thank you very much. My name is Irene Elias. I would like to conclude by explaining about the salt called iron two sulfate. This salt it is applicable in our daily life as it is be, it is used to treat fungus and it also it is also used in it is also used as a weed killer to to kill the, the those plants which grow in the ponds lakes or rivers also i would like to conclude by saying that all these salts are very beneficial in our daily life because they are used to test food the poisonous substance that are found in the in the food stuffs for example when the food are imported from outside the country, the foods are taken first to the chemistry laboratory, then they are going to be tested to find whether there are poisonous substances that are found there by using the salts. Thank you.